So the next question is find squares of 45, 75 and 95. So here we are asked to find squares of two digit numbers ending with 5. So whenever a number ends with 5 or starts with 5, it is still more easier to work out. So here we have numbers ending with 5. And uh, numbers ending with 5 squares is one important concept wherever you, whenever they ask approximate questions, we can use this pattern. So we will see how to find the squares of numbers ending with 5. Say for example, suppose if a number ends with 5, say 65. So this is again a two digit number, you can use a square 2ab b square. So but as it ends with 5, you have some, 5 is a special number, 5, 1, 9 are all some special numbers where the pattern is still refined and you can get the answer easily. So here it is 65 square. So when you have 5, the last two numbers will be 25 always. So if you are squaring a number ending with 5, so the last two numbers will be only 25, not 75 or 65. Always it will be 25. And for the remaining number, so whatever you have here is multiplied with its following number. Suppose the number here if you take as 1, it is product of its n plus 1. So n into n plus 1, consecutive number. So you have here 6. So 6 multiplied the following number 6 into 7. So 42, 25 is the answer. So whenever a number ends with 5, write the last two numbers as 25. And for the remaining numbers, this 6 is multiplied with this following number. 16 to 7, 42. So for 65 square, answer is 42, 25. So now we will see, now we will work out the questions, uh, numbers which we have in the question. So we were asked to find squares of 45. So 45, 75 and 95. So we will find the squares of these numbers one by one. So this ends with 5. So what will be the last two digits? It will be 25. And for the remaining numbers, so you have here 4. The 4 is multiplied with this following number 5. So not this 5. So this 5 is a default number. So the number which follows 4 is 5. So 4 into 5. 20, 25. A square of 45. So just seeing the numbers you can write the squares. So 20, 20, 4 into 5, 20, then write 25. 20, 25 is square of 45. And next number is 75. And now without writing all this, so what will be square of the 75? The last two numbers will be 25. 7 is multiplied with its following number. 7 into 8? 56 is the answer. And what will be square of 95? So as you have 5, last two numbers will be 25. So 9 is multiplied with its following number, 9 into 10, 90. So 90, 25 is the answer. So easily we have got squares of two digit numbers ending with 5. So now we will see how to find squares of these numbers starting with 5. So the question is, find the squares of 53, 56, 59, 512 and 518. So here we are asked to find squares of numbers starting with 5. So 2 digits and 3 digits. So we will see how to find squares of these numbers where it starts with 5. Say suppose you have a number 45. So what is square of 45? So ends with 5. So we write 25. And uh, 4 is multiplied with its following number. So 20, 25 is the answer. Suppose if it starts with 5. 54. So what is square of 54? So earlier we had 5. We squared that. We wrote 25. Suppose if it is 54. So what is the unit place? 4. Square this 4. 16. And for the remaining numbers, as we have 5, square this 5 and add 4. So we have here 4. So add that 4 with 5 square. 5 square is 25. So what is the answer? 2, 9, 
1 6 is square of the numbers starting with 5 so if a number if a two digit number starts with 5 so you, you see what's the number you have square that and add that number with 25 for the remaining numbers so 2 9 1 6 so we'll see how to find squares of the numbers which we have in our question so we have 53 now what is square of 53 so here it starts with 5 so we can follow the same pattern so we have 3 what is 3 square 9 so here 4 square 16 a two digit number we wrote 16 here 3 square is a single digit so you have to add one zero before this 9 so square of 3 is 9 so 9 as it is a single digit so you add one zero so 0 9 and now this 3 is added with 25 So what is 25 plus 3? So 2809. So when a number starts with 5, so whatever you have, square that. So here 3, square that 3, 9, as it is a single digit, so you add 0. So whenever you have a single digit number, so while squaring here, so add 1 0 to make it a 2 digit number. And now this 3 is added with 25. 2809 is the answer. So now you please pause the video and try for the other numbers 56 and 59. So we will see the answers now. So got the answers. Now what is the answer for 56? So it is 6 square 36. 6 added with 25. So what is sum of 25 and 6? 31. So 31, 36 is the answer. So that is 6 square 36. 25 plus 6 which is 31. So now what is the answer for uh, the next number 59? So write 9 square, 81 and add 9 with 25. So it is 3, 4, 8, 1 is the answer. So that pattern is 25 plus 9 and 9 square. So 9 square 81, 25 plus 9, 34, 81 is the answer. And now we have the other two numbers as a 3 digit number starting with 5. So we will see how to find square of uh, number starting with 5 or 3 digit number say for example you have 513 so we are asked to find for 512 and 518 so we will see how to find square of this 513 square so 3 digit number starting with 5 earlier it was a 2 digit number say 54 we had 4 so here you have 2 digits 13 square that 13 so what is square of 13? 169. So it is better to know squares of numbers up to 25 for quick workings, quick calculations. So 13 square is 169. So there we added a number with 25. So here you add this 13 with 250. So for a 3 digit number, add the numbers with 250. For 2 digit numbers, add the numbers with 25. Now what will be the answer? 263, 169 will be the answer. So when you have three digit numbers starting with 5, square the two digit numbers. So which occurs after 5, here 13, 13 square is 169 and add this 13 with 250. So the pattern will be 250 plus 13, 263 and 169. So now can you try for the other numbers 512 and 518? So just pause the video and try. So now it work out. So the answer will be for 5 12 square. So write 12 square. So what is 12 square? It is 144. And now this 12 is added with 250. So what is 250 plus 12? 262. 
for 260 to 144 is the answer. And that is 250 plus 12 and 12 square is the pattern. And now we will see for 518 square. to find square of 518. So we square 18. So what is square of 18? 324. And for the remaining numbers, add this 18 with 250. So now what is the sum? 268 324 is square of 518. So we saw how to find square of uh, numbers starting with five, two digits and three digits. And we can, we'll see one live example, so which they ask in the exam. So where this concept is used in other chapters also. So we'll see the question now.